Today in the Slough Saga, we play Lincoln FC, who are in the top half of League One at the moment, whilst we are in the meagre realms of the Vanarama South. And this is the FA Cup first round proper. There's money to be had in this one, and I'm proper, proper excited. In other news, moments before recording this video, I'd lost my 128 gig memory card, which I think I'd left carefully on here, ready for tonight's recording, only to find that I think my toddler had moved it, so I've just spent 20 minutes looking for it to find it underneath his cot. Oh my goodness. Don't have kids. One, two, and we're off. Blame it, blame it, blame it, blame it like my I'm the worst football manager ever and welcome to episode 7 or is this episode 8? I think this is 8 actually. I'm the worst football manager ever and welcome to episode 8 yes of the Slough Saga. Thank you so much for joining me today. You join me on a very special day at Arbor Park as we play in the first round proper of the FA Cup. Uh, we're going for a slightly different field today in terms of setup and all that kind of stuff. But before we get to that, let me tell you how things have been going before this game. So I thought I'd show you the league st status at the moment. As you can see, we're down into fifth where we were third before, but I'm still happy. I'm still happy about this so far. Like we've only lost four games. We've won nine of them, drawn five. I think that's where we're losing points. The fact that we've like drawn a couple of games that probably we could have won. And then since the last game that you you saw me play against St Albans, which, by the way, I failed to mention. Obviously, I was, you know, by getting a draw, I carried on my unbeaten record. But unfortunately, it did come to an end as we lost 1-0 against Chelmsford in the league away from home on Tuesday night. Lost 1-0, boring game. Let me, I'll show you the stats just out of interest, really. We should have won it. We had more shots than them, more, you know, more on target than them, all that kind of stuff. Um, they won it on possession, really, if anything. And so they scored a goal, um, Anthony Church, on the 70th minute. So, wah, wah. But, 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 but actually, before we, we go away from this screen, let me just show you. I'm, I'm having some difficulties here, um, predominantly with a couple of positions that it seems that not, not necessarily about who I play in these positions, but certain players just aren't cutting it at the moment, who should be doing way better. One of which being Oxlade Chamberlain, my right back, who just is consistently getting either sixes or five. 5.9s and I'm having to sub him off which is rubbish and then left back as well Paul Koncheski you know my old man the old man who's joined in not like not my dad he's not my dad Paul Koncheski you are not my dad but the old man who, who basically he's not playing that great either but anybody else I'm putting in um, left back at the minute isn't really playing that well so I'm just beginning to think is it me uh, is it something in my tactic that isn't going right and then added to that is this fella here Aaron Sibia who I've mentioned before Devontae Aaron Sibia who's a good player four stars considered a star player could still improve he's only 21 years old I just feel there's there's something in this guy that I'm just not seeing yet because his average rating if you look down here in terms of the league games is 6.82 it's not that great he's only scored one goal in 11 appearances I just feel like I'm I should get be getting more out of him he's actually listed his kind of brightest green is actually as a shadow striker which is interesting now I know naturally and accomplished he's showing as wingers but I'm just wondering could he work as a shadow striker? Um, so, so that's giving me... I'm just wondering what might he be like if he's with a, with a, somebody else up front or maybe just playing slightly behind them in a sort of attacking midfielder role still but, but, but pushing forward as a striker. So we're going to give that a try today, um, which brings us to today's game. So of course, we've made it to the first round of the FA Cup. So as you can see here, we've got Crawford up front and then Aaron Sibia just going to sit behind him. We're going to be going defensive anyway. And so I'm just wondering, just bringing these players back could also help today. Left wing, we've got Blickley. Right wing, we've got Warren Harris. Midfield, we've got Matt Lynch. And then the other thing I'm trying today is Toggers. I keep having um, it mentioned in all sorts of areas, scout um, coachings, um, reports and all this kind of stuff that these two are forming a good alliance even though they've only played midfield together like once with me but they're both long-standing players at the club um both i think above 30 so maybe it's that kind of or i think matt lynch actually is high 20s he's, he's in his high 20s sorry mate i'm sorry there i am saying you're in your 30s when you're only 20 something sorry mate i'm sorry but we'll see how they play together and then um in the back we've got nisbet and armsworth Ooh. 
the ropey. And right back, we're still sticking with Oxlade Chamberlain, and left back, we're still sticking with Konchesky. I can I can't cope with too much change all in one go. So we will try and sort out Aaron Sibia. I think first, if I can get him firing on all cylinders as a four-star player for me, I think that will be a big help. And then we'll start looking at the full-backs and seeing what's going wrong there. And then in goal today, we've got Oliver. Burn the uh, goalkeeper saga continues. We're still not quite sure who my best player is, but we'll go for it. We're playing defensive, by the way, against Lincoln. We're at home. Oh my goodness, this should be a sellout crowd. I'm so excited. If if we get anything out of this, I'm going to be happy. So we are off, and uh, here we go. I'm guessing this is a sellout. We'll see at the first. Oh, look at how packed that bit of the crowd is there. Although it's pretty empty down by the goal, which is I'm guessing is the away fans. But here's Aaron Sibia on the ball. Oh, hello. If he could start, if he, I'll tell you what, if he's a star player for me, I'm going to consider myself the best manager there ever has been. Oh, look at the other stand, though. That is looking packed over there on the right. Look at the, oh, people have turned out for tonight's game, haven't they? Or today's game. I think it's probably middle of the day. But it is raining a little bit. Well, it's just a great opportunity. What a great opportunity to get some money in, to get the, get the stands filled. I'd love a good cup run. I've already had a pretty good cup run, in my opinion. But uh, I think this will be lovely if we can take it to the second round. Meanwhile, Warren Harris has a shot. And that's the first shot of the game on target for Slough. So that will oh, that'll get the crowd going. Bad news. 19th minute. Oxlade Chamberlain is injured. Yikes. That's... That's really crap. I haven't really got another right back. Like Guy Hollis, oh, he's not so good um, at being right. He's much better in the centre, but he's going to have to go full back and defend. That's not a good start, 19 minutes in. What's wrong with him? Potential foot injury. Can't get any more vague than that. All right, boys. Okay. Uh, let's see, 22 minutes. We are still, Lincoln have had one shot now, but not on target. They're having a little bit more possession, 53%. 54%, it's just bumped up. But uh, Slough, I think, I feel like we're holding our own. It doesn't feel so bad. We're, we're winning a lot of tackles. We're winning a lot of, pa a pa lot of passes are completing, which is always good. But uh, <laughs> interestingly, yesterday, in terms of game time yesterday, um, South End played Geisley, same league. So South End League One, Geisley, uh, Vanarama North. And, uh, and Southend smashed them 5 0 away from home. So I'm just hoping this, that doesn't repeat itself today. I feel like we can go away respectable if we 1 0 loss, 2 0 loss. Do you know what I mean? If we get a goal, that's incredible. 5 0 though, I, I might cry a bit if I get 5 0. Okay, 36th minute, so it's 7th minute we're into now, and uh, things are looking pretty quiet, to be honest. Heading to half time 0 0, that is pretty good. Pretty happy with that, and we have. Boys, boys, it's a drizzly afternoon in Arbor Park. The crowds are feeling tense. Things might be coming. Fingers might be wiggling in a really odd way. And that's I think that's the second time I've done that this season. Okay, I've simply just given them some encouragement. I've made no changes. Um, the team aren't playing well. There's no player above a seven at the minute. They're all on sixes. We've got 6.3s going on here, 6.4s. Things are not looking great from a Slough perspective. Lincoln having uh, double the amount of shots that we've had. Um, similar amount on target though, so you know, it's kind of one of those things, that just get one on target and you never know, it might go in. Um, meanwhile, Aaron Sibia is still playing a 6.5, he's just not, he's just not loving it, he's just not loving life at Slough maybe, maybe that's it. Oh, meanwhile, Ryan Edmondson, 49th minute, gets the first goal of the game. And Lincoln go 1-0 up, it was sprayed left by Payne, Andrade... Um, tips ahead, that kick, oh, that defender could have done a bit better than that. Hollis, yeah, Hollis. Guy Hollis. Oh, what a surprise. Okay, here we go. Here's Toggers. Here's Koncheski. Lynch, come on, Koncheski. Come on, Lock Toggers. Come on, maybe Koncheski, just bring your experience here, lad. Come on, bring some experience. We've got a few experienced players here. Oh, my word. And Toggers, one of them just lost the ball. Toggers, he's a, oh, he's a waste of space. You're an absolute waste of space, Toggers. Here's Lincoln again on the attack moral. Oh, Toggers, well, well, he, he took an interception. So, all right, Toggers, you, not so bad. Here's Lincoln on the attack again. Bostwick tries to pump into the box, headed out by Lynch. He's picked up the loose ball, a little bit of space here. Oh, my days. Oh, my days, he's lost it. Right, I'm going to have to start shouting him here. We're going to, come on, uh, demand more from him. Maybe that's, I mean, that was probably a bit harsh, isn't it? Oh, it's too late. It's too late. I probably should have encouraged him. Oh, well, but they're on the attack. Lincoln here, Edmondson again. <gasps> oh, oh, they hit the post. Hit the post. Um, oh, my days. Oh, come on, clear it. 
Oh, it fouled, fouled, free kick. Oh, my word for Lincoln. By the way, I'm still not quite 100% with my voice, if you haven't noticed already. A um, little bit croaky still. I'm filming this quite late as well, very late in the day. It, my voice gets particularly bad. Um, but here we go. 61st minute, Koncheski pumps it up to Balikli. You can Crawford get onto it, you can. Back to Balikli, brings it to the centre. Aaron Sibby, what's he going to do? Sprays it wide. There's lots of space here for Harris. What's he going to do here? Can he get it a crossing or a passing or something? <gasps> Aaron Sibby, Scores from about the penalty spot. Second goal of the season. Oh, yes. We're back in the game. What a, what a strike by Aaron Sibby. There, there I was slagging him off. But here's Harris. He worked hard then, didn't he? Made the pass. And it was a little chips. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that footwork. And I'll tell you what. The Slough contingent will be loving life right now. Here's Balikley now with a corner for us. Oh, man. Imagine if we win. Imagine if we win it, boys. Here's Andrade, though. They're on a bit of a counter here, Lincoln. And my days, Hollis is the worst player I've ever seen in my life. But luckily, so is their striker, Walker, who put that miles wide. So that was all right. 68th minute, another attack from Lincoln. They are battering us here. Ten shots have had five on target. Keeper, Oliver Byrne, having a pretty good game. It's only seven shown as a 6.7, but when you've got a League One side coming at you... And you've saved four of their shots. Fair play, mate. Here's Payne for Lincoln. Moral over to Connolly. Connolly's on the right. Payne. Come on. Close him down, boys. Close him down. Got to close him. Close him down. Come on. Oh, es Esketh. Link. Oh, nobody's closing him down. Oh, it's gone wide. It's gone wide. It's gone wide. Oh, Lord. Right, Andrade in the corner. Armsworth. Aaron Sibia. Pick it up. Don't just hoof it, mate. Don't just hoof it. Unbelievable. Here's another attack from Lincoln. 20 minutes to go still of this. Here is Aaron Sibia. Come on, lad. Here he is. He's not too fast, is he? <laughs> not too fast. Oh, he's not too much. He's not too much of anything. He's he's too much of nothing. Aaron Sibia is now apparently the best, our best player on the pitch. 7.0. That's only because of the goal. Here's Toggers. Pumped it up to Aaron Sibia, though. Oh, my days. That came from nowhere. And... Coker just had to smash it clear and we've gone for a throw and um, maybe I should bring off Koncheski who's having a pretty poor game. Left back, well, Max Waltzfold's going on. Anybody else? That's, hmm. I could take off Mark Nisbet but I don't think I will. Here's Lincoln. Down, streaming down the right, Anderson here. Again, we're still not really challenging them that well on the wings. We've still got 12 minutes to go. I'm just wondering whether I need to just send our, when we're out of possession, Get our defenders to defend a little bit wider. They're just not they're just not pressing them, closing them down on the wings there. We've got four minutes to go, three minutes. Oh my days! Are we going to earn a replay going to Lincoln? We might do here. The, the players looking exhausted. Let's do it. Let's let's go for it. Let's go for a draw. Let's get let's just, just make a sub just to waste some time. We're into that. We're in. We've now passed. We've now done it. It's done it. We've done it. Oh my words! We've got a draw against Lincoln. We've just drawn one all against Lincoln. Oh my days! This is this is weird. This is weird. I, is this the right channel? Is this the right mic? Are, are you are you really there? Am I? This is a dream. So it turns out Oxlade Chamberlain is now out for four to eight weeks. Yikes! With a twisted ankle, and and uh, obviously schedule wise, we are now going to have to play them again. So we've got a very busy couple of weeks ahead we've got a game against Hemel Hempstead then we've got the replay against Lincoln then we've then got the FA Trophy third qualifying round and then back to the league again all before the end of November and it's the 9th of November now 21 days four games yeah that's a lot of, that's a lot of games but anyway that brings me to the end of today's episode thank you so much for joining me um hopefully by the next episode my voice might feel a little bit better and so i'll be firing off all cylinders still but my goodness what slough are smashing it right now one all against lincoln uh, look capacity two thousand people rocked up it we, we were it was sold out so now we get the privilege of going over to lincoln city and uh, can we beat them can we be join me next time to, to find out if we do I'll see you later.